point is moving along an arc of a circle, its velocity depends on distance covered as a root s. We need to find the angle alpha between the acceleration and the velocity as a function of s. So angle between acceleration and velocity. So let's draw the diagram and understand what he's asking. Then let's see how we can proceed. So as it's moving on the circle, the velocity will be tangential. And let's break the acceleration into its two components. So this will be at, this will be an. So net acceleration, let's say, makes an angle alpha with at. So now he's asking the alpha between the acceleration and velocity. So he's asking this angle alpha, right, between the acceleration and the velocity. And what is this alpha? That is tan inverse an by at, right? So from here, we got our approach that to calculate the angle alpha, we'll find an and at and their ratio will give the tan of alpha. So angle between a and v is equal to alpha, which is same as tan inverse an by at. So velocity is given in terms of s. So let's find an and at. So an v square by r is equal to a square s by r. So we put the value of a root s here. So this we got. Now at is v dv by ds and v is a root s. So we got at also in terms of s. Actually s will get cancelled and it will be a constant a square by 2. So now we just need to take the ratio an and at and that will be tan inverse of that is our answer alpha.